Hello everybody, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online. This is Narlo here. Say hello to everyone, Narlo. Good boy. When last we left off, we were beginning chapter 1 of book 14. And we were trying to get some items together uh, for for uh, Lairdan, if y'all remember. Lairdan needed some... Uh, food to take down south with him if he's going to be leaving the homely house and heading off down south to try and destroy the ring Narquil. He wanted his breastplate brought back, so we've uh, found Goladir here, and we're going to go see if we can bring find and bring his breastplate. And we found the fine clover honey, so that the cook at the last homely house can make the provisions that he needs. Uh, we went into over to... Um, even dim uh, to the lakes of the 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 banks of uh, Tenendir, the island of Tenendir, and talked to the the stable master there and got Lairdan's horse ready for him, and it's going to be returned. So now we need to travel down to Imlad Balcorth and find Lairdan's breastplate. That seems to be the last time that it was actually seen. So we are going to head on down that way and see what we can find. And once we get down there, let's get outside first and I'll show you where exactly we are headed. Back in Angmar. I feel kind of like Sheen's character in, in Apocalypse Now. Angmar, I'm still in Angmar. All right, here we go. So we are way up here um, at Gathforthnir, and we are going to ride down across Himbar, take the road, pass down by Imlad Balkorth into this area where all those dead walk. If you remember before, they had the crawling hands and the various vile whites and all. It's down the hill from uh, Merk, Merkworth, I think is the name of this. This is this outpost of dwarves here up in the hills. It should be right down in this area. So that is where we are going next. Go pay a visit to the undead. Let's see where exactly. Dolandath. We're going to have to find Dolandath. Um, I would imagine it is probably one of the... We'll be getting an inspiration bonus. Imagine it is probably one of the barrows there. So we are going to go in, see if we can find Dolandath. And when we arrive down there at that land of the undead, we will join back up with you. We have just about arrived here. We are right at the northern edge of the Imlad. Hmm. We're gonna have to dismount for a bit, otherwise we're gonna have just pointless fight after pointless fight. They're all light green, so it ain't like none of these things can bother us. They're all greens, but uh, just don't want to have pointless fight after pointless fight as we travel on down in here. This is the land of the undead right over there to your left. As you see going up the hill, that goes up to the Merkwuth, which is that uh, dwarven outpost. We're down here in the Imlad Balakorth itself. Notice ironbound slaves bar guests and various other creatures. This is where we were looking for the Angmar messenger I think it was that time. So at this point we're looking for I believe the name of the place is Doladath? Dolandath, yes. So we are going to continue on down this way and see what we can find. Uh oh, the Ironbound saw us. I said they're not any problem. It's just an annoyance at this point of having to constantly have these little green fights. So once we put him back down on the ground where he know There we go. Now that we put him back down in the ground where he belongs. Kind of dope to get the green swirlies off of us. Uh, said we're going to spend most of our time cloaked up so that we can wander around and see if we can find Dolandath down here. I'm going to take a look at my map right quick to make sure that it wasn't 
it doesn't already have a, is that Dolendath? No, that's Bail Grundel. So the big one off to our right there is Bail Grundel. That's not what we're looking for. So we're going to keep looking around, and once we actually find where we're going, we will rejoin you, and I'll show you where you find it on the map. Okay, we're getting into some gray ones now, too. So, like I said, it's more of an annoyance trying to get through this part than any sort of danger. We'll see you in just a bit. Alrighty, everyone. I have found it. It is quite well hidden. As you see here, we're not too far down from where the actual entrance is. Right here is the entrance arch here. From the southern entrance, it would be right about here or so. Not very far at all. Let me take out this iron bound here. I have had plenty of fights with these things. As you see here, I think whenever we started this evening, my experience points bar there was quite a bit lower. Ah, uh, yeah, we got to take you on too, don't we? Every time you kill one of those things, it breeds a foul wriggler, which is the worm-like thing that lives inside of it. We wandered quite a bit around in all up in that area and down in here. We didn't go into the really deep parts back there. But we did all this, you know, where you see the, the filth from Angmar pouring down. But we did go uh, quite a bit over this and couldn't find it, so eventually I just started scouring all the edges again. And I found this entrance right here. Well, well hidden. I just happened to glimpse it as I came by. And sure enough, right back in here is the entrance to Dolandath. Now, I don't know if this is open, if you can get in here any other time, whether you have this quest. In the confusion which ensued during the abandonment of Dolandarth, many things were left behind by Golodir's company, not the least of which was the breastplate of the elf lord Lairdan, but other things lie there as well, best left buried. All right, there you go. We're going to let our inspiration finish kicking in. Although, as you see here, most of the stuff, you know, a lot of greens. I think we get more overwhelmed with numbers than anything else, really. Let's see. See that little red thing around the tomb white? That's been my hardest part. Was to not run into those little red things. And uh, have the uh, stealth break on me. Oops, there we go. Okay, let's see if we can get back over here and fight these damn things off. There we go. Ooh! Yeah, see, without an inspiration bonus, you really get overwhelmed here. It'd be really nice if I had a... if I had an area effect I could call upon as well. Fortunately. Hello. Gotta make sure I've got a target in front of me. I've had that problem before where I'm targeted on something that's too far away for me to actually hit. And the next thing you know, we're hurting. Um, having a heel kick in would be really nice right about now. Thank you. Let's see. I bet I can play dead. Yep, there we go. Let's hope this disease wears off of us before the play dead does. And where is hide in plain sight? There we go. Improved hide in plain sight. Let's see if we can get back over this way. All right. So that wasn't quite successful. I got a feeling we're going to have to fight our way in and kill these things off just a few at a time. Fortunately, with it being an instance, they should not respawn. Ah. Ah. 
But it's better to take them down a few at a time than have them... <laughs> take them down a few at a time than have them uh, gangbang us that way. Come on, rat. There you go. Said, we don't have quite the power in all of what well, Guardian would have. But, we do have the ability to, uh... Do our play dead. And that has really helped us out in that instance. Come on, let's throw another rock. This is one time where I really don't want to stun them. I just want to get past them, you know? Right. Let's take out. How about the closest one? Jeez, why did you pick the one that's farthest away? Alrighty, we'll take out this tomb white. And he's not going to wander up this way anymore. Wonderful. Here we go. There we go. Come on, come on. Come on, you can come on around the corner. You know you can do it. There you go. Come on. Come on, you can get here. Pathfind, friend. Pathfind. There you go. I knew you could do it. I do apologize for the white groin there. Fortunately, at my height, there's a uh, little choice at the moment. Yeah, this is going to be much more successful if we can take them on just one or two at a time. Even with an inspiration bonus, is the immortal words of Mr. Solo. Don't get cocky, kid. Alright, we're going to take out this rat. Since I keep targeting him, let's get him out of our way. Okay. I think next. Wonder if we can get. We'll be able to pick that guy out without pulling everything else with us. Let's see. Too far? Too far. There we go. Thing is, I don't even know if what I'm looking for is inside that cave, you know? This is one of those situations where I'm gonna have to probably fight my way through every single room. Looking for exactly what it is I need to find. And how much you wanna bet it's way further to end in there. I don't know, there's a locker right there though. So maybe, let's see what's in there. Okay, let's take out the next rat. They were some of the ones that were banging on us so hard, really. It was bad enough we had the four whites on us, but you add in the other th four or five rats that were on us as well. Yeah, they don't have very many hit points, but they're still banging away at you, doing their best to take you down. It's kind of like having the earlier where we had that little iron bound. And what was going on, I think I am going to see if I can riddle the back white. There we go. And let's take this one out. At least we'll keep that one off of us for a little while. Even if he breaks it, it's going to be a lot more successful with only two of these on us rather than the four or five we had before. Come on, dude. There he comes. Let's take out that rat. There we go. Now let's get him. Uh. 
Much better fight. Much better fight. Almost down, and then we can see what's inside this locker. Let's see if that is where this breastplate we've been looking for is hidden. Nope. Wasn't that one. What the hell? What the hell? Ooh. That was uh, disturbing. Okay, let's keep fighting our way through the rats. Both the four-legged and the two-legged. Oh, have a mint. Huh? Take out the rats one at a time. Next. I see another locker up there. really is much like fighting your way through one of the barrows in the uh, in the barrow downs this is just a much higher level instance of doing that very thing all right maybe that's the one don't see any other Ooh, there's a blue there a light blue once again we really don't want to get caught up with a whole bunch of those things all at once you would run right over there next to him, wouldn't you, you SOB? SOB meaning son of a barrow, of course. Let's see. That was the problem we had the first time, too, was getting the door wardens that jumped in on us. And I don't think there's any real danger with two of them, but whoa! That was a bit of a pain the first time that happened when he jumped on us with the other wardens back over yonder. Come on, you can do it. Here you come. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Let's take you out now. They were the particularly deadly part of that last fight we had. And they stood off at a distance and were chewing us up with those arrows. Alright. Let's see how we're going to do this. Diseased rat, can we get you without... I don't think we can get you without alerting every damn other thing on the in the room here. What about you? Alright, well at least you'll squeak and come running over here. I did not mean to waste that on him. All right, here we go. First of all, you, I want to riddle. Then you, I want to kill. There we go. Mo 
much better, much better. Far more successful fight. There you go, once again people, play to your strengths. If you're a burglar, don't coach charging in like you're a champion or a uh, guardian. Because there's just no profit in it. Take out the squishy. Oh, great. There we go. And this fight is pretty much done. All over but the cry. Not mine this time, fortunately. Huh. I began to wonder would the rats even have attacked me? Alright, there we go. Let's see if this locker has one. Ah, lo the locker is empty. It lies elsewhere. Something has awoken. Okay, that's not good. In the distance, the sound of laughter is heard. Oh, joy. Alright, what opened up then? Because these were the only two rooms that were open at first. That door has opened now. How sweet. Should have known that wasn't going to be it. Are you going to attack me if I just walk on by? You won't. Good. Probably until something else attacks me, and then you'll jump in, right? Yes. Oh, good. They must be there just to jump in in case you drop a uh, area of effect. If you can hold off on dropping those, maybe they won't join the fight. I guess in a party, you know, in a party, so many of the, uh, so many of the various things that you'll be, uh, traveling with have area of effects, like, uh, the hunters and the guardians and all that. There you go. Come on up. Join the party. Yeah, we should have known that one room was too good to be true. That it would be right there in that second one, shouldn't we? Nice. Ooh, okay. Golagir, Minion of Shadow. I think we might have found the boss. Let's take out a few of these rats around him. Lord knows he's probably going to summon stuff like most of them do. Remember what Mordenbor did. I at least want to take these rats out of the way so I won't have to deal with them as well. I think he'll actually attack us yet. Looks like he's got some talking to do. Okay. Gorligir, Minion of Shadow. 
Ah, just as I have foreseen. You have come for the elf's armor, have you not? Oh, you are ugly. Well, your search has not been in vain, for here it is. Unfortunately, your search has also led to your doom. Hey, what? Let's get around behind him. We don't want things banging on our rear. Gotta take him down because otherwise he's just gonna keep spawning in stuff. Let's riddle one of them. And of course I broke the riddle myself, didn't I? Okay, we're gonna do that though. Ooh, he's spawning in a bunch. Fortunately, he's just about gone, as long as he doesn't heal himself. I think we'll be okay here. Yeah, we got plenty of hit points. Have any of y'all ever wondered what about your career choices in life? Like you, Bolagir, you were not uh, the most uh, attractive thing. Once again, maybe you might think about the fact that uh, choosing the dark side has not actually led you to a life of uh, beauty. I mean, if things make you look this bad, maybe uh, you might want to question your life choices. Not that saying that all beautiful things, of course, are, are wondrous and are good, because after all, what was uh, Sauron's first Sauron's first name? Something like Anatos or something like that? You know, whenever he, when he basically seduced the elves of Eregion into creating the rings, it was a case of, uh, you know, he presented himself in fair and beautiful form at that point. And of course he had that all the way up. He could maintain that beautiful form all the way up until, of course, the fall of Numenor. Alright, ancient chest. Elf breastplate. Beneath the dust and grime that coat this breastplate, you can see an intricate pattern. Alright. Is that the door? Can we get out that way? It looks like we can. Awesome. Okay. We are going to take the breastplate back up to Gathforthnir now, to Goladir. And we are actually going to use the, the uh, quick travel. Use our milestone. I don't feel like traveling all the way back through all these greens again. Excellent. Okay. Let's go and talk to Goladir now. And I think we will be at that point just about ready to travel back down to Rivendell. What can I do for you? I see you have found the breastplate, but it is in too poor condition to give to Lairdan now. Allow me to have one of my dwarves here repair it. I would consider it a gift to my friend. I will have it brought by one of our messengers to Stelden and then on to Rivendell. Okay, let's see what these various wraps are. I've got Radiant Cloak, so I don't think it's going to be better than any of these. Uh, even Goladeers. Uh, that plus two stealth and might and all that would have been nice, but yeah, we're going to stay with Elrond's Radiant Cloak. That's a hell of a nice one. So we'll just choose one of these and sell it off here in just a few. All right, we have got to travel down and bring the clover honey to Filinganeth, and I think that's where we will leave off this time around. Let us smoke a pipe here with Goladir, maybe for the last time, we don't know, we will see. 
I don't know if we will be returning up here to Angmar again, but some way, some reason, I just feel that our our time up here is not quite over with yet. It is called the Shadow of Angmar, after all, and we've got two books ahead of us, all of the rest of 14 and 15, so there you go. Next time we see you, we will travel back to Rivendell, hand in the fine Glover honey, and at that point, probably go talk to Lairdan and see where our travels would take us next. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time, and bye-bye.